What's up? Welcome back to the CEO Pulse Podcast, where you get the real, the raw, and the mind of entrepreneurship. We are sitting down with none other than Mr. Art Sanchez, bro. Thank What's you man? so much for being on the show, bro. I I, I know we're in the uh, in the same. Um, uh, space. Uh, we're both based out of Phoenix, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking. Uh, interestingly, I mean, I know we follow each other on social and mm -hmm. and and you know cheer up, you know, for each other that way. But but we're talking right now, and we have a very similar background. I mean, down to the place that we used to live in the same apartments yeah. uh, back in the day. So it's kind of funny how how life life transpires. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, you run a seven figure uh, real estate business. You're doing you know real estate fix and flip. Uh, you know, type of stuff. You got into it in 2019, right? Yep. So, so the progress is leaps and bounds. Um, it, it's not all you know, skittles and and uh, unicorns, yeah, right. So, I wanna I wanna break into that and and um and really just kind of highlight the 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 shift that uh, you know coming from your words, the the shift that you've been able to make. Uh, and the uh, the stuff you've been able to accomplish yeah. uh, because you you, uh, you you decided upon something which was to you know change my life yeah right? change for your life better yeah so welcome to the show bro hey I appreciate for having me here man and uh, sharing my story you know it's a journey for for me and for everybody that's witnessing my journey thank you guys so much yeah so yeah man I'm Mark Sanchez uh, there you go there you there go, you go. <laughs> so I'm Mark Sanchez uh, like you said. Um, I'm, I run a seven-figure real estate business. Uh, started in 19, 2019, man. Yeah. You believe without a dime, dead broke. Yeah. Right. And uh, let's 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 uh, rewind, man, from the beginning. All right. Yeah, I started my journey in 2019, man. Um, at the time, we had barely found out that my wife's pregnant. Yeah. Right. And man, at that point in life, man, I was depressed. Figuring out, you know, what's next for me. I was at even a point in time where I wanted to, want to take my life, man. Man, I was, I, I was, I was at that, at, at that moment, man, when all that was happening. I'm like, is this it for me? What's, yeah. what's next, right? But I always share this to everybody because I never, you know, hide anything yeah. because these emotions are what's gonna, uh, well, eventually later on, it's gonna remind me like where all this came from. So. I was getting back, um, I was I, like, there was a voice in my head telling me, get up, get up, you know, um, there's something better for, for you out there. And this, this is not your time. And that was God speaking, man. Cause at the time I didn't really have a good relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, man, I got up and I'm like, you know what? I want to make this happen again. Cause it was like my fourth time that I lost it all and got it right back. Yeah. So at that time I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this happen. Right. I don't know how or when, what I was going to do, but I'm going to make something happen, right? Yeah. Because my wife's pregnant. I have two kids. I have nothing going on for myself. What else am I going to, you know, lose? Yeah. Right? I was already at the bottom. Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's when um, that's when I, I changed my life, man. I'm like, you know what? It first starts off of, of my mindset. The people around me, I got to change all that. So I started doing that, man. I started reading more books. I started uh, listening to podcasts, going on YouTube. And then I finally found out what real estate was, man, wholesaling real estate. And that's where um, where everything changed, man. As soon as I found out what real estate was, that's when I went in. Um, so, you, I mean, you you had a trigger, obviously, right? I mean, you, you went... You had this path, this way of doing, you know, doing things. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you lost it. You got it and lost it, uh, you know, three times before then, before that point. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I want to, I have two things that are kind of, you know, kind of popping in my mind. Mm -hmm. One of them is, is what's the mindset behind that, right? Like, how did you deal with the, uh, with, with the valleys when you, when you had seen the peaks uh, before, right? It takes, it takes mental fortitude to do that kind of stuff. So I want to, I want to get your your perspective on that yeah um and then the second one is you know finding the vehicle i mean I, i'm a huge advocate for for if i were to start all over again i would start wholesaling no 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 doubt you know before i even joined the fire department before i even you know did mm -hmm. anything else i would start wholesaling i think it's you know really one of the best vehicles for wealth Absolutely. right <clears throat> now with that being said is uh, you know, you you mentioned right before we we kicked this off that I mean you, you're naturally a hustler, right? Like so you you've yeah. had that uh, that uh, that ability to keep going and move forward and whatnot. Were you looking at different opportunities? 
uh, you know, before you, you came across real estate? And, and if so, you know, what, what did that look like? Yeah. So, I mean, you said it, man. I, I started off as a hustler and I'm always going to be a hustler. Yeah. Now it's like becoming a businessman, yeah. like a CEO. But man, even since I was at a yeah. young age, yeah, I remember, man, I used to go to school with a bag full of candy, selling candy, you know, these kids. Yeah. I used to go door to door asking the neighbors that they want their get grass cut, their car cleaned. So I always figured a way out, no matter what position I played, right? Yeah. Or what, what environment I was in. I always figure it out. And that that's 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 what really made me the person that I am, man. It's like the times that I did lose it all is because my problem was now I found this out. It's like I, I try to grow so fast. Mm, uncontrolled growth, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, strategically can be one of the worst things. And, it, and yeah. it's happened. And it's ha <clears throat> Unfortunately, man, this happened to me in just recently too, man. Like 2021, um, that's when my business blew up. I started consistently doing six figures every single month. Yeah, I'm like, all right, then now it's time to really, you know, build my business because I barely moved into my office. Yeah, and as soon as I started making some money, I'm like, all right, then you know what? Let's let's go ahead and hire two, three acquisitions, right? At the time, mm -hmm. it was one acquisition. Then it, it went to two. Then it went to four, right? But I didn't have no systems and processes in place. Yeah, you got to feed the machine. That. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And I was like, all right, then now I'm going to hire a disposition uh, manager, a transaction, and let's go ahead and add more cold callers. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have nothing structured. Cause it's like building a house, right? You want to make sure the <laughs> yeah. foundation's in place. Yeah, you can't throw the roof before you have, you know, the walls in place. Exactly. So, like... so honestly, man, <clears throat> I, I, I had to learn a hard way and yeah. it cost me a lot of money, man. And it's like us entrepreneurs, right? We don't go to school to go to college yeah. and, and pay for education. We e pay for the hard life. Even, even if, even if that happened, right? Even if you got a, a you know, a school and, and, and you know, formal education behind you and everything. What you're going to learn as an entrepreneur, especially a bootstrap business, like, bro, it, it's it's worth millions, you know, more than, than what we learn in a textbook. Exactly. You know, I can tell you that from experience. The, the, the first, the second that you get punched in the face with adversity, the second that you get punched in the face with payroll and you're trying to figure shit out, like yeah. you start scrambling because exactly. it's not just your livelihood now. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's something else. Um, yeah, so, so it's, it's, I mean, a lot of that is, is tenacity. You said, uh, um, one of, one of my things, one of my big beliefs is, is hustle is season, right? It's not a business strategy. Exactly. I, I think hustle is, is, um, it's a great tool. We, we have to see it as a virtue almost yeah. as, as entrepreneurs. If you're an entrepreneur, you're a hustler, bro, you got to make, cause you're going to figure that shit out. It doesn't matter. One way or another, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Man. Um, and as you're growing, as you start getting more organized and you start bringing people in, uh, you, you have to switch from that hustler, um, n not necessarily, you know, mentality or, or drive, right? But, but from the way of doing business, right? Into that CEO, into that business owner, you know, type yeah. of mentality where you have systems and processes and accountability. And it's not as sexy, uh, you know, it doesn't sound as sexy as like, it yeah, looks, good shit done and, and all that stuff, it right? It looks sexy on social media, It looks right? super sexy. Oh, yeah, bro, I <laughs> fucking hustle. I'm bleeding through my eyes because I'm so tired. I hustle so much. Exactly. Um, but at the end of the day, like, where's the freedom, right? Where's the, where's the, uh, the, um, the the quality of life i think you know if if we lose sight of of what we want of the big picture you know mm -hmm. that we're looking at in life i think it's easy to 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 fall into the trap right and get mm -hmm. enamored with this with this dream but it's not scalable it's really not scalable it's You're it's, right. it's it's not even sustainable mm -hmm. so so it, it's uh it's really cool to see that uh you know that even given the success that you've had like you see that happening like oh shit the hustle got me to this point now it's it's I'm evolving as a human being, and, and before we turn on the recording, uh, we we were talking about you know personal growth. We were talking yeah. about you know being in alignment with the stuff that you want to do, uh, and I mean that plays right into that. Dude, I'm telling you, um, I always tell everybody this, man. The best yeah. investment that I ever made in my life, is not in real estate. Yeah. It's in myself. Uh, right. Yeah. Back in 2021, man, I spent uh, about 120s. Roughly one hundred twenty thousand yeah. into my personal development, yeah, and and best money I ever spent. Again, man, like I grew up in a Mexican household, raised up as far as like my mom telling me, "Hey, look, get a job." Yeah. Well, first go to school, graduate, get a job. 
and me, right, the person I was, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of, of, of school. Yeah. I, I uh, dropped out that sophomore year, right? And uh, she was like, all right, then it's time for you to get a job. I'm like, I'm not going to get a job. I'm like, for what? <laughs> so being in that environment, right, it was programmed to like, all right, then you know what? You're going to become, you know, a blue collar person. Yeah. Right? I, I'm not that person, right? I knew for a fact at a young age I was going to become somebody. Hmm. I just didn't know how or when, right? So me pro like reprogramming myself to change all that and to becoming this new person, the seven figure person, right? Uh, man, it takes a lot, dude. Is 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 how to change the way I think, right? The way yeah. I, I even take care of myself. Uh, just so much, man, that I realized like, you know what? A lot of the habits that that I had weren't gonna they weren't going to 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 be around long, right? Especially the, the person I was becoming. Right. So I had to change all that, man. Especially me being a father of three kids. Yeah. What was I teaching my kids? Yeah. That was a big part too, man. Like even me being a husband, the way I was treating my wife, you know, now it's not me being aware of, of all the things I needed to change. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Like, I don't know why I didn't start this a long time ago. Well, I, th I think it's it's also a matter of awareness, right? I mean, we just sometimes we just don't know what we don't know. We may feel like something's off, can't exactly. necessarily pinpoint it. Um, and I think it's it's getting caught in that um, in that world that we deem as reality, right? Mm -hmm. Like the environment. We're talking, we're laughing right now mm -hmm. about you know the, the place we used to live, right? Yeah. Like so, we it, it just you know a little bit of context. We used to live not you and me together, <laughs> but we used to live in the same apartment complex, apartments, right which there is, on 59th, yeah, right? Yeah, 59th Avenue, McDowell, McDowell. man. It's like so for those listening who are not familiar with Phoenix, the West Valley, it's kind of like you know where where the the real shit happens, right? Like yeah. Uh, so the West Valley, the Maryville, right? Maryville, and, and um. And, and uh, you know, you either have a lot of pride because you're coming from Maryville or, or you get, you know, robbed and, and, <laughs> and hijacked in Maryville. All that. So, so there's places in Maryville that are worse than other places in Maryville. Like, mm -hmm. we were at the worst place in Maryville, I think. We were. Um, so, and even, like, when you're spending your, your entire, you know, life in that space, in that context, right, you're seeing struggles left and right. You're seeing limited beliefs left and right. You're exactly. seeing, and I speak for myself on this, um, you know, seeing just not a lot of possibilities, right? Like, exactly. And, and what happens, we adopt that shit as real, uh, and then we put that in our pocket and we start operating. If, we, if we're not intentional about the life that we want to create... Uh, or we don't have the awareness that mm -hmm. we can be intentional. We start operating under those premises. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and and we call that truth when it's really not. It well, yeah, man. Um, you know, just just touching on that is during during that time I was living there, man. Like the friends that well, I don't even consider friends yeah. anymore. Acquaintances that I had, right? The pe the stuff that we used to do would could have got me killed. Or or in in prison, yeah. right? Those are the only two things I was facing, or losing my family. And I look back now; those people are still there, man. Yeah, still doing the same thing. So you are what you, you know what what's what's around you, your environment. Yeah, you have to eliminate yourself, right? So you can better yourself. And now it's like. You got to make sure that 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 you're with the right people. Like, I'm telling you now, I look back, I'm like, now, the people I'm around, they're yeah. high-level people, man. Yeah. Right? All they're talking about is the future. All right? What, what's, what's 2023 looking out for us? Right? Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's a whole lot of that, man. And, and that's what I'm telling you, man. Like, the biggest part that, that, that helped me, you know, grow was getting myself from, from that environment. One, one thing that happens, <clears throat> and big props for that, because it's not easy. It's not easy it's breaking, not. breaking uh, uh, you know, paradigms and, and, and shifting gears on, on what you think that's, you know, that's, that's truth. That's the reality. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> one thing that happens, too, when you start getting yourself around uh, people who are in the middle of it or they're going through personal wor uh, work and... Mm -hmm. and and I don't know, it doesn't even have to be that they have life figured out, right? Maybe they're, I don't know, a chapter ahead of us, Yeah. right? Um, but what happens is that I think that we start, we start borrowing perspective. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I like to see it, right? 
um, at, at given points in time, my, my vision has taken me to a certain point, right? And like, that's what I can see. I think that's like, shit, that's awesome. That's great. That's mm -hmm. a big goal. It's a big, you know, thing. And then you hang out with somebody who's, you know, who's seeing 10 times that. Now you, you're like, why am I thinking that small? And then you kind of break, you know, uh, away from, from the limiting beliefs that way. Little by little, you start believing more and more and more. Um, exactly. and, and, and not to say that, uh, you know, that, that small thinking is, is, you know, what happens on a regular basis. Right. But, but we can, we can borrow from somebody else's perspective to create context. Exactly. And, and that like, it really gives you motivation to, to, you know, get some shit done. I'm telling you, man, like, Hey, you know, God willing, God puts nine figure players in my yeah. circle, man. Just best believe I might be yeah. the next one. Yeah. Right. Or I will. So that's that's all yeah. it is, man. Like, I would have never imagined me hanging around with with or in my circle, yeah. all these high level people. They yeah. all push me to become greater, right? And that's all I want, man. Now it's like I'm hooked. Isn't that amazing? Like the 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 more you get into these uh, bigger circles, the more people want to help. That's all it is. Like, how that's, many times did you hear like, no, you know, people with money, they're like, they're, they're douches, greedy, they're right? Greedy. Yeah. They're gonna take everything that you got. Like, when you have a six hundred dollar paycheck, I was like, program yeah. like that. My yeah, same here. Like, yeah, my mom, <laughs> dude. Like, all, everybody in my family, right? I'm the black sheep of my family, so yeah. everybody looked looked up to you know the hard the the hardest working person yeah. in the family, right? They respected them, but as far as like. Breaking all those limited beliefs and becoming someone successful. Yeah. You know, they like my for me, right? I could talk about myself. It's like my family, when I talked about me joining real estate um, and becoming this big real estate investor, like I, I pitched them my dream. Yeah. And that's the worst thing you could do. Ooh, right? yeah. I had, and, yeah, and, similar and, experience. Man, because I tell you, man, not everybody believed in my vision. Now, even my mom, man. You yeah. know, my mom, she didn't believe in my vision because she, she, she knew my, my, my position. And she yeah. was like, financially, you're not ready for that, yeah. right? Go get a job. I'm like, no. You know, I believe in myself. This is what I'm going to become. Dude, um, when, uh, and yeah, I mean, that lands. Uh, that hits you because you oh, felt yeah. it. Cause, oh, yeah. dude, it just, you know, it took me back to a moment, a very, very specific moment. I was pitching my vision. Uh, and, and again, I, I like, the the advice from from people around us or relatives or family members can can come from a space of you know them not wanting us to get hurt or fail or whatever yeah. right um, but you know if if you were it's the worst thing that you can tell somebody who's who's breaking into entrepreneurship who's yeah. looking to bet on themselves right yeah. um, putting a limiting belief like right right there in front of them uh, especially when it's coming from somebody they look up to in my case that was the case right. Uh, and uh, same thing, I, I put my vision on the table, my heart on the table. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm, I've been working on this business plan for, and this is on my first business. Mm -hmm. I was 21 years old and, and putting together this, this transportation business, um, non-emergency medical transport business. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm so excited. Like, I've been working on this thing for months, just trying to figure out what I needed and, and you know, some action, where I was going to get the funds from. And, and um, I put on the table, and uh, the feedback was like, Quit fucking around. Like, go back and get a four four year um, degree on, on business, and then come back see if you really want to do it. Mm. I was like, oh shit. What were they doing? Uh, dude, and I'm pretty sure they're still no. doing the same thing, right? Mm, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So, so it's uh, how it, did that? How did that make you feel? Well, I mean, honestly, it gave me the. Um, we get motivation. We get incentives, right? We can channel emotions. I'm grateful that it channeled me in the right way. So it gave me the fire to prove somebody wrong. Like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. I'm gonna uh, like this now. Like now, this shit's gonna happen. But I felt hurt, you know. What I wanted really was was some type of, not even validation, bro. It, I wanted some type of support when because all these conversations of building something, it's scary in my yeah, head. For sure, they were happening inside my head, right? Mm -hmm. they, it was a it's just an internal conversation, internal battle. Like no, bro. Like I was telling myself, you're gonna fuck this up. You're gonna fuck mm -hmm. this up. You're gonna fuck this up. You had um, doubts. Anybody and had, and uh, doubts. exactly rolling into it, and then and then uh, you know seeking some some type of support, uh, just to push. Not even mm -hmm. support, man. Just I wasn't asking for money. I wasn't asking for anything. Like I was gonna figure that that out. Mm -hmm. Like um, just some yeah. Like you can do I it, man. Felt, yeah, I, I felt yeah. it, man. Like <laughs> when you said like at least getting some Ooh. type of bio, uh, validation, man. Like yeah. 
when we when I told my my, my family too, man, they're like, huh, I'm gonna believe it when I see it. I'm like, yeah, that was a driver for me. Like that put yeah. fuel in me, man. That I, that's exactly what I needed. And and the the thing is, right? And it can be it can be I don't know. Maybe we can put a negative connotation to it, but it, like it drove me until I started seeing my first results. Mm. I was like, oh shit, okay, cool. Now, now I had, I, you know, came down to the day where I was opening the the official opening of the business, the yeah. doors, and I had an office, and I had a couple of vehicles, and mm. I had a state contract, and and like I had worked really hard to get to that point, right? And the still the 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 thing in my head was like, you're not gonna make it. Um, and I don't know that pushed me. And along the way, you know, a few things happened where I was like, I'm not gonna fail. I'm not gonna fail. I can't fail. Um, so it was really a matter of I think I think when you come from a background like like. Um, like ours, um, it's it's a matter of, of survival, right? Yeah. Like not yeah. necessarily because you're gonna die of hunger, but because you're 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 trying to your your bigger bigger and better self, mm -hmm. your ideal self is trying to survive that space. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I agree with. You. Um. So yeah, push through that, uh, and and you know eventually things started panning out, and 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 it worked out right and then i had self-validation like okay now i can start believing that i can make stuff happen but mm -hmm. i mean it's not to me it wasn't a thing that i was wired with i mean a lot of people are born with that confidence mm -hmm. um I, I had to learn that behavior <laughs> That's, and that and that gets to you know what i was saying is like you know we people pay to go to college we get yeah. paid i mean we do this you know and we get beat down every single day yeah but we learn from it yeah and that's 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 what success means man like you know, everybody's so focused on, you know, what the next man is doing and what's on social media, yeah. how it looks all nice and sexy. But let me tell you, man, we get beat down every single day. Humble every dealing, day. I was dealing with, you know, certain situations in my business where I'm like, damn, like, damn, like, yeah. I need a breather. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you know what? As long as God's still providing for me and yeah. letting me, you know, get have another day with my family, hey, yeah, exactly. Next, I mean, right? the 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 bigger picture, right? One thing one thing that it uh, reminds me of, especially when you're talking about, you know, uh, I mean, investing in your own growth, right, and masterminds, yeah. and and uh, being around the right people. It's it's almost like going into the, you know, when you, go, I don't know, you're you're you're, you're playing. You go to the dugout, or <laughs> yeah, you you go, you know, to the locker room and get that, you know, halfway, you know, that that halftime pep talk from, yeah. you know, like when you're sucking, when you're losing the game. Like that's what it feels like. That's exactly. You, you almost get invigorated a little more, and then you come back out, and they're like, yeah, uh, you know, going through wrestling between matches, I would get my ass handed, you know, yeah, exactly. to me by the coach, and then I feel better. <laughs> it's like redirecting you, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I, yeah. I'll tell you this because you know you're talking about like you know mentorships and all that stuff man and, and, and mindset yeah. like dude like this is where i learned it's like i pay for relationships man yeah and 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 at this point i think we all do like anybody who's, who's in it for real yeah exactly yeah exactly and me investing in myself and my business like yeah. man brother like i i honestly invested for yes to get the knowledge but mostly it's like the people around like yeah. that's in those mentorships. Right. Yep. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. So being in, in, in those type of rooms, man, you know, having high level talks, that's what fills me, like f fulfills yeah. me. So man, like anybody that's like doubting themselves and, and trying to figure out, you know, what's next for themselves. And when it comes down to business or anything, look around, you know, who's doing something that you always wanted to do. Just pay for the service. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't find information from there, there's people in there, in the mentorships, programs, whatever you guys find, that are going to have your answers. Go to meetups. Start hanging out with people who are in that, that environment. Like it, it, For sure. And it's free, too. It, yeah. Don't you don't you do meetups? I do meetups every every month, man. Every month. Do you charge for the meetups? No. Because I've never been to your meetup. No, they're, they're free meetups. So, I mean, we have, you know, people like Sean Terry come in and then do a talk on, on just... Doing amazing shit. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, and again, it's it's just having conversations in the room that's got you know aligned interests. Um, one one good one really good cue, and I see it. I see every time I have a meetup, I see who those are. Like I, I can I can almost you know pick those people. Yeah. But there's people that walk into the meetup, they're super uncomfortable, super uncomfortable. That like, was me in my that's, first time, man. Like, bro, that's a really good sign. Yeah. yeah. That's a really good. If if listen, if you're trying to get results and you're walking into a room. And uh, and you're you're fresh and you feel uncomfortable, like the I, I feel like the more inadequate you feel going into a room, the more that you're gonna grow, right? Well, those again, 
is whenever I mean, whenever you're in a in a situation where you're kind of doubting yourself and yeah. you're, you're getting you're getting well, you're learning new things. You're going to these type of meetups for your first time. Yeah, like you're gonna have all these emotions, but that means you're growing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because if you're if you're if you're in the same place, same environment every single day, you're living comfortable. What's the point of that, man? Yeah. I don't. I'm not. I'm not built for that, man. Yeah. But I, I get you. Me when I was first starting off, man. I remember I went to my first real estate meetup. It was a all in meetup, man. Yeah. When I first went, I'm like, holy shit, man! Like my palms were sweaty. I was very <laughs> nervous. Do that. I'm covered with nothing but tattoos. I'm like shit, man. Like I just, I'm just gonna keep quiet. Whoever comes to me, I'm gonna talk. But I'm like, man, I'm not, cause I, I was telling myself when I went in there, and I was nervous. But yeah. once I was in there, I looked at around. I'm like, man, if these guys could do it, yeah, I could do it, yeah, right. Cause I'm, I'm aggressive, man. Whatever I do, I'm aggressive. Yeah. So I'm like, man, these guys action taking wise or. With anything, or, yes, yeah. action taking wise. <laughs> well, do you start beating people? No, up? Like, no, 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 no. You're gonna sell me a fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> no, when it comes down to 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 success, to succeed, right? Yeah. That's where I'm very aggressive. Like, if I want something, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get it. Yeah. Right, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like when my my business man, like, you know, um, when uh, when I first started, man, I'm like, you know what? I didn't have a dime, but there's one way or another. I'm gonna get my first deal. Yeah. And I was, and now what I was doing, man, I was, I was working seven days a week, ten hours a day, cold calling, cold calling, right? Because at first I was yeah. driving for dollars for a couple of months, but that didn't really work out. I'm like, all right, then you know what? I got, um, I got some money, you know, um, and I invested in a laptop, a list, a dialer, and I started calling. Yeah. And it took me four long months, man, to get my first deal. But that's what I meant. Like, I really want it. Like, if I want it, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go all in. Yeah. And when I first got my deal, man, my first deal, I invested it all into my business. I paid two months of my rent and the rest back into the business. The rest, I, I was going to figure it out. Yeah. Right? So that's what I meant, man. And, and after that, like, man, God... God did his thing, man. Yeah. You know, he put me in the right rooms, right? Uh, there's a lot of times where I'm always on my last dollar, man, and he made it happen. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an action taker, man. I'm a risk taker. I, I, well, that's key. That, like, that's that's key. We can be in the... And you see those, you know, that type of people, too, the, the people that go to meetups and then they're like just hopping from meetup to meetup, but there's no action behind, you know, yeah. everything they learn. So they have the knowledge, the theory... Um, they can articulate real well everything they're talking about when it comes to you know whatever the strategy is in real estate, mm -hmm. but but then the action, like yeah. okay, what's going on? Like, are you sitting down and actually you know making those calls? Are you sitting down or, or, or are you driving around and actually knocking on doors and looking for you know having conversations with, with people so you can you know see how you can solve that problem exactly. and make some money? You um, know how many people I had in my DMs, man, asking me like, where do I start? I'm like, well, yeah. what do you know? I'm like, well, you know, because I asked yeah. him, what do you guys, what do you know about real estate? Yeah. And I'm like, man, well, I've been watching videos. Uh, I've read a book. What have you done? Yeah. Well, nothing. Just yet. I'm like, that's your oh, yeah. problem. Have you, have just you just go out and get your ass. Yeah. Have you studied? Down. Have you studied anything? Have you watched any videos? Yeah. I started watching videos three years ago. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm telling you this yeah. industry with anything that you do, if yeah. you want to grow. You gotta. You, you're gonna build some thick skin. Oh yeah. All right. There's gonna be a ton of rejection, man. Man, I'm telling you, people. Yeah. Are, are, I love people, right? But yeah. there's there's certain people that they're just not built for this. But yeah. it's fortunate, man. They want it. They're just not built for this. For example, man, like you could start cold calling. Yeah. You could get a thousand no's, man. But you know, there's gonna be a few people that get several no's and be like, oh, you know what? This is not meant for me. Yeah, <laughs> just give up like that. You, right? you know, uh, uh, an hour ago, man, I, I recorded another uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. We do Mindset Mondays, and we were talking about commitment, uh, commitment versus interest. Yeah, and and the the levels, right, of the the like the ladder of commitment, and how you begin with 
um, okay, I'm going to try, or I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do this, and then I hope this works, and then you start escalating, you get to a point where I'm going to give it everything I got and try, you know, uh, uh, until I can't anymore. Or you really commit to it, and then you do whatever it takes. The mentality mm -hmm. of commitment is whatever it takes. Anything below that is just interest. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think being able to distinguish that, like looking at your, uh, you know, what you're committing to, in your case, you're committed to changing your life, um, and, and you saw the vehicle. Yeah. Like this is gonna work. This there's no other outcome. Uh, you know, from I, where I I'm feeling, it, it's yeah. like I either die trying this thing, or or uh, you know it works. You know exactly. I had no other choice, <clears throat> man, but to go all in. Yeah, what I was telling you is we had barely found out my wife was pregnant. You know, our third child. Yeah, and we didn't have anything, man. We're like shit. Dude, like, what else am I gonna give my kids, man? If yeah. I die, what else yeah. am I gonna give them, right? So I'm like shit. I gotta make this happen. It's man. a tough spot, man. I mean, I, I can I can totally relate. You know, being being strapped and 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 uh, you know starting humble beginnings. I mean, there, there's and the interesting thing is like there's a lot of guys in our in our space mm -hmm. that openly talk about their you know their story. Talk you know, see Carlos for example. Yeah, like he used to hustle jeans and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, hats, so, all that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, we're talking about. I mean, I used to flip cars, you know, for a while, and yeah. and and just you know whatever. We all have a thing in common. So that's one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, flipping cars. Yeah, exactly. Carlos is the same thing, um, and um, I think I think the character, right? I think the, the character of, of of, of that hustle, you know, plays into all of them. Um, eventually, you get to a point where, again, you have to, you evolve beyond that, and mm -hmm. and and you know, it, it and it shows the the path of the growth that you're taking. I mean, there's there's not just one story. There's multiple stories out there. Exactly. Um, exactly. That paint, you know, the the the, the picture of growth. Uh, being able to stick with it, though, like that's 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 the, that's, that's that's tough, man. Because yeah. you're convincing yourself every single day, man. You gotta get up and get it. Yeah. You gotta make this happen. Yeah, that's the toughest part, man. But once, once you know, you get a, you get a couple bumps in the road, right? Yeah, and get your butt handed every single day, man. <laughs> you can eventually understand, like, oh, you know what? Yeah, if I get another beat, I'm gonna get back up. You yeah, know, it's part of the gig. That's how it like, is, uh, man. And yeah. you know, um, like you're talking about, like the hustler phase. You know, the this is how I think about when it comes down to, you know, hustler. It's like a hustler you know, figures out certain things and, 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 and just trying to make something happen for the following day, right? Yeah. But like a true entrepreneur, they build for 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 all for, for it could last. Yeah. Right? That's that's honestly where I feel like the difference is the hustle it could be in you. Yeah. That that will never go away. Right. But if you have something that that, that you're building, right? That's gonna last, man, that's 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 what that's yeah. what a true entrepreneur is <clears throat> that I believe. Yeah, yeah. It, it uh, it well. I mean, I think it's also a big benchmark between going after that instant gratification all the time to to the long term thinking. Yeah, exactly. Right? When we start off, we're thinking, okay, what's the next dollar? Where's the next dollar coming from? Exactly. Like, how am I gonna you know make the next marketing campaign? How mm -hmm. am I gonna make payroll? How am I gonna get like fucking pay? You know, I don't know the the cold callers. Yeah. Um, or you know, take your pick, right? If you're in a different industry, yeah, and and um, and and that's that's real short term. It's short term survival, but you know, shifting from that, you know, short term uh, gratitude or immediate, you know, gratitude that we often need to that long term thinking. Like it takes a while. It takes a different kind of effort. Uh, and I think that's where we lose a lot of a lot of entrepreneurs. You know, they they end up going back to <sighs> I'll tell you, you this, know, five, man. You know, start struggling a bit and. And they made it to that, you know, second to last rung of the commitment ladder where they say, I'm going to give it a really, really good shot. Yeah. But not all it takes. <laughs> I'll tell you this, man. You know, 2021, yeah. man, you <clears throat> know, a lot of so-called entrepreneurs, uh, it was an all-time high. Yeah. Right? The shift happened. The real estate shift. Yeah. Right? With anything else. Everything. I mean, you know, the stock market. Yeah. Crypto. Everything went to shit yeah. and these overnight entrepreneurs man disappeared like yeah. this, right and yeah. then the thing is is like i said is this is not meant for everybody man no and um but the ones that, that are that are still here that are fighting for another day man are the ones that that are gonna fight even towards you know the summer because right now it's winter man yeah it's winter for us it's 
you know. Um, but the ones that that make something happen right now, yeah, are the ones that are forever gonna win. Dude, I'm uh, the th it's thinning out the herd, you know, definitely, especially in our space, right? But you see, you know, different types of businesses just adjusting, pivoting, doing other stuff, having to get creative to generate revenue when they didn't have to before. Yeah. Um, new industries just, you know, kind of popping up everywhere mm -hmm. um, and uh, and new ways of doing business, right? Like, I think that's what it's going to take. I mean, we're going through not just an, an economic shift, but a way of thinking in business. Exactly. That's completely sh like moving everything underneath, right? So there's going to, there's going to be a lot of fallout, I feel. Uh, we're already seeing it again, uh, but it's going to thin out the, the herd, and, and whoever makes it to the other side of this mess, uh, it's, I mean, it's going to be standing on two it, very solid legs. And I got <laughs> willing, man. Forward. Every, you know, yeah. people that are listening, you know, I hope everybody makes it through, you know, but in reality, yeah, that's not really going to happen. That's not the truth. Yeah. And, and, and that's a problem, man. It's like, you and know they're listening to everybody on the social in social media thinking about you know it's it's still working out you know uh our business we're you know we're still making this much but in reality man there's a lot of people that are hurting there's yeah. a lot of people that are hurting they're not talking about the truth yeah and it's not the same like i everything has dropped at least in my experience right like the 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 margins you know got narrower and whatnot it's all seasonal though like yeah. it, it's like we understand that uh, that things you know play um, and have ripple effects, right? Um, it, it's everything is seasonal. I think one of the biggest challenges that we're all, all going to come across is going to be that uh, that mental the mental battle. Like, do we do we stick with it? Do I want this bad enough? Exactly. Uh, to the point that I'm willing to okay, just you know stick it out un until it it pans out, um, you know, and take that you know risk if you want to call it risk, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I, I think um, it's a good combination of knowing yourself. Um, did you fine tune your craft while you had the chance to do it? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and are you you know are you implementing something that's going to be bigger uh, than you and for the long term? Right? Like is that is that you got you got to really think outside the box, <clears throat> man. It's yeah. like when the gold rush happened, right? People were so focused on 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 investing everything they had into scraping up gold, but. The person that was selling the shovels, yeah. right? What about yeah. them? Yeah. So that's what I'm getting to. It's like, where are you at right now, right? Yeah. What is everybody doing wholesaling, right? Mm -hmm. If we're talking about the wholesaling yeah. industry, that's just one, right? Everybody's wholesaling. You got to do be different from everybody yeah. else. Yeah, it can right? be a one-trick pony. Exactly. You have to either strategize around it. If there's you know different opportunities where you're breaking into, tapping into, like you know shoot for that exactly. i know we're doing a couple of bi uh, pivots on on certain areas of the business or, or the businesses right mm -hmm. one of them is you know the commercial real estate um mm -hmm. and you know for example right and then a couple of things on the education side of things just because we understand right i understand that you know there's things that are, are moving underneath us mm -hmm. right you can't stay stagnant like right now if you stay stagnant like someone's gonna fall on top of you and kill you exactly <laughs> exactly yeah no, and and we're not here for that right yeah um but getting to your, what you're saying man it's like you have to adapt with 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 whatever goes on in your environment, yeah. right? So with me, uh, and I'll be honest, right? Um, when the hedge funds were buying, uh, that's back in two thousand and twenty-one. Man, hedge funds were buying. I was straight focused on where you know what the hedge funds were, yeah. were marketing towards and what they're buying. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Boom, That's boom, it. Boom, boom, boom. So, you know, we're working with like 22 hedge funds, man. We're one of the biggest uh, wholesaling companies out there that we're selling to hedge funds. Um, and we're playing comfortable, man. And that that's it. Just one way street is is locking up deals, selling them to hedge funds. Yeah. Anything else, let it go. Right? Yeah. And they paused. Holy shit, man. When they <laughs> paused, we freaked out. We're like, oh, what's next? Like, yeah. you know, they're pausing. What do we do? And um, me, and my, so my wife's my business partner, right? Uh, shout out to D Dispo Queen Daniela Sanchez, yeah. right? She's my better half, man. Um, let me tell you, she's a tough girl. You know, she's like, you know what? We're gonna figure this out. And what she her her so what she does is uh, she focuses on the disposition, right? And I focus on the sales, business, everything else with her as well. But um, she was like, you know what? We're gonna figure this out. And uh, yeah, man, we we started um, using new strategies, which was creative uh, financing. Yeah, that was part. Of, but uh, what's really working for us now is novations, right? Yeah. Uh, 
had had my buddy uh Rich Wonders man come to my office and uh he trained all our team man on in how to you know um how to pitch these deals um and then when it came down to selling them as well yeah so once we started using that man strategy um now 50 percent of our deals we're selling it through innovation and the rest is wholesaling man but the buyers are coming back strong and now you know it's season i'm man. glad now yeah. all that happened the reason why i'm bringing this up <laughs> is i'm glad now all that happened is because that's another tool man yeah. now i'm going to be using for my tool belt now it's like when the hedge funds come back which they are yeah. Now it's we're you know we're gonna be not only relying on them but you know to the cash buyers and even yeah. listening on the MLS. So it's not one way street anymore, man. It's not yeah. you know we're we're making sure there's 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 other avenues out there yeah. instead of just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you gotta diversify, um, bro. It's been it's been a very very interesting conversation. I, I love to see the um, the evolution of, of of you, man. I mean, yeah. this is 2019 where you really. You know, kind of jumped into it, and we were talking again right before we click record. You said, you know, personal growth started three years ago, um, and it's been leaps and bounds, right? You're yeah. growing as an individual, you're growing as a business, uh, you're providing opportunity for people out there. Um, mm -hmm. you're, you're surrounding yourself, you know, with the right people. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, and that's a blessing. That's amazing, bro. I appreciate it. I'm gonna continue show. growing, man, yeah. and do anything I gotta do, man, is to serve the people. You yeah. know, that's what I was telling you. It's like, man, it's like. At first, it's take care of myself. Yeah. Then it's take care of my family. Now it's take care of everybody yeah. around me. As far as like the world, man, you know. But at this time, it's like I gotta take care of my business. But now we're yeah. we're 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 getting back, man. Where I could give my time to to everybody else now. Yeah, because that's what really matters. So again, um, you want to touch on anything else, man? Because I know we. Well, we, I, we, we, we I do about everything. I do want to. I do want to ask you. I have this. This uh, before we sign off, and 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 um, um, I want to ask like my favorite question. If you were yeah. walking down the street and you ran into your seventeen-year-old self, what piece of advice would you give that art? Man, you know, I tell myself all, all the time. It's like, well, well, because I always try to tap into my inner child. Yeah. Right. Um, man, honestly, it's just it's just surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Yeah. That's number one is is look around you, right? If you're around with people that are just worrying about the weekend, right? Yeah. Going clubbing, right? What what do you think what are you gonna do? Yeah. Right? So me at seventeen, man, it's like first change my mindset, right? Read more books. If 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 I read more books at yeah. age seventeen, <laughs> man, the knowledge I would have had now. Yeah. That's very important, man. But if I would have started my entrepreneurial life, like, get get, get serious. Like, whatever yeah. you want to do. Because I always tell myself this, like, God willing to have another life. But as far as I know, is I only have one life. Yeah. Right? And I want to build a legacy. Yeah. When I die, what am I going to leave my kids, yeah. my grandkids? What'd you do in this one? Exactly. So, yeah. what do you got to lose? Yeah. Fall several times. Get to, you know, know yourself, right? What kind of habits do you have? How can you fix that? Yeah. So... That's that's what I get to, man. It's like the mindset. Me at seventeen, I wish I could change my mindset, man. That starts from reading books, changing their your environment, right? Mm -hmm. Stop listening to, you know, other procrastinators like out there that 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 you know start doing the same thing over and over and over, man. They're not changing. Yeah. But that's very important, man. It's just you. You could be, you know, growing up in the ghetto, that can't change, especially at a young age, seventeen, man. Yeah. Like. I couldn't change that, but I could change the people that are around me. Yeah. Right. The the value I'm giving myself. What am I feeding myself? Yeah. So yeah, man. Like, change your environment. That's all I like to say. Is wow. That's that's it, man. Because I'll tell you, you hang around with you know five millionaires. Best believe you're gonna be the sixth one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's all, that's I all, hardly all, believe that. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. And you know what? You could be dead broke. I could be dead broke. But I always carry with myself if if I was a big successful guy. Yeah. No matter what, because it's it's up here. It's not what's in yeah. your pocket, right? Yeah. It's up here, and that's and and I, I carry that with me every day, man. It's like God could take everything from me, but the knowledge I have now and the way I carry myself, people won't know. Yeah. Right. Mm.
Um, all right, it's been a pleasure having you on the show, bro. If uh, somebody wants to reach out, get a hold of you, pick your brain, collaborate with you, uh, where's the best place to find you at? Yeah, so Instagram, CEO Art Sanchez, and Facebook, Art Sanchez. Look, I might be intimidating, right? A big guy, but let me tell you, um, I give a lot of value out, especially the people that are in need, like right now. So yeah. if you have a question or anything like that, reach out to me and... Um, other than that, man, thank you so much for having me, Dude, man. it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. Finally made it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys. Fam, there you guys have it. Um, from uh, from uh, the beginning, right? From the beginning of the story where, where you have to actually go through the pains and struggles uh, of changing and shifting and, and, and adapting your mindset to what you want uh, to reaching a seven-figure you know figure business. Uh, it, it's It takes hard work it takes effort right but it's doable keep that in mind uh with that being said love you all stay focused you got this